All right, folks, Dean Gazowski here, 3D Property Solutions, and I'm hoping that this is going to look okay because I got some numbers I want to talk about here. If I can just get rid of that glare. Anyhow, the content's going to be good, I hope. So um, I'll just keep my notes right there behind me, but we won't get to it just yet. Here's what I want to go. I want to go ahead and establish this, okay? I uh, just got off the phone with another investor and... Um, Oddly enough, as I'm doing my research, checking the numbers of what I'm about to show you, um, I was actually pretty surprised. So I'm always looking at opportunities, looking for opportunities, uh, not just in the wholesale and the flip business, but from a cash flow standpoint. So when I say cash flow, what I really mean is if you're going to put your money into something, what's the return on that investment going to be? Okay, that's cash flow. Okay, how much money monthly? will that property produce for me or whatever the asset is okay so today we're talking properties and um this is what we're dealing with so uh right now if we can get right up there huduser.gov that is the website that i've got this information from so you got fiscal year 2020 2021 2022 and then the natural progression for and these are market rents okay now how uh, the uh, the government, okay, or Detroit Housing, or however it is. I mean, you can go to that website right there and dig up these numbers for yourself. Go all the way back for whatever whatever year you want, and it's going to give you the progression. Um, in a nutshell, we're kind of looking at like a two and a half percent growth uh, from like the twelve sixty six, thirteen forty four. You know, so roughly, okay. But these are market rents for two bedrooms and three bedroom properties. Uh, here in Wayne County, okay. Now they actually looped in um, Warren, which is Macomb, but still I kind of understand why they might have done that because it's still kind of in the little box of uh, Wayne County. So let's run through the numbers. Uh, 2021 fair, or 2020 fair market rent for a two bed was 977. So how they come up with that is they take the fair market rents, okay, and then they go 90% of the value in the 110. 110% of the fair market rent value and then this is kind of the calculation that they come up with so you look at this stuff okay if you choose to rent your houses to section 8 tenants okay you get that voucher you got to go through the section 8 check boxes you know like uh, you're, they're gonna certify the property to make sure it's safe for the people that are gonna live there if you want to take a safe bet Occupy it with Section 8 tenant. That's what you're looking at right there. Okay, that's what the government will, you know, provide for you as a, a landlord. They're going to pay you that. Okay. Now, sure, there's different things that you know come in with, uh, uh, you know, maybe they have a voucher. Uh, the the renter has a voucher for 1,200, and then there's pay and like there's a lot of different things that go into it. I'm just talking general numbers right now. Not looking to get in the weeds because I'm looking to build a base concept here for putting your money in real estate. Okay, so let's talk about Garden City, right? I, I believe that Garden City is a sweet spot. I've liked Garden City overall uh, for the majority of my life. I spent second grade over there at Memorial Elementary. I had a good experience, so therefore I've got a positive image of this community, right? So I understand uh, kind of what's going on over there. Here's what's a little bit mind blowing mind-blowing right I've seen these areas grow let's run this scenario hundred and thirty five thousand dollar house you can find one of these that's close to Inkster it's a brick ranch it's got a three bedrooms one bath it's got a basement got a garage but that same house you get over towards Vinoy and I'm running the Ford Road corridor here um, it's gonna be a hundred and sixty thousand dollar house same house different location, right? So that's kind of, you know, as you, as you have different locations in cities, I'm just telling you what the numbers are, right? So, but suggesting that you can find a nice brick ranch, three beds, basement, garage, one toilet, you can get $135,000, your mortgage, your overhead on something like that, considering your taxes, your insurance, and, um, you know, maybe some PMI, so stuff like that. If you don't have a full 20% down, uh, that's going to be about $1,100 a month. 
Okay, so think about that. $1,100 a month all in, and then you can go ahead and rent that house to a Section 8 tenant, well, back in 2020, but what they're projecting right now, 1371. So, 1371 minus your 1100, it's good. It's $271 a month, right? If my math is right, $271 a month in your pocket. Now, when I go through analyze numbers, I'm looking at that and thinking to myself, it's not bad if you got a rental property and it's turnkey ready to go and you're just cashing the check. Makes sense, okay? Now that number does not include, that overhead does not include management, okay? Different talk, different day, but you basically, if you don't wanna be a landlord and you still wanna put your money in real estate, you can do that and you can pay a company 10% to manage that asset for you, okay? And you just sit back and be the sh silent money and collect the checks, okay? But here's, here's why I was really getting into it earlier today because I just got off the phone with this uh, this lady who bought a house. She actually reached out to me once upon a time when she was buying the house. And she says, okay, I'm looking, what do I offer on this place? Okay, well, I said, here's kind of where you would want to be. And then fast forward, I'm going through all the numbers I, and, and I'm looking at the MLS, the multiple list service, uh, doing my due diligence and I see the house. I'm like, that looks familiar. Sure enough, it was familiar because I've been in that house before I saw what she bought it for. Furthermore, I saw that what she rented it for. And she rented it for 1500 bucks a month. Let's take that, compare it against that. Okay, she's using round numbers. It's 130 bucks, okay? $130 more is the fair market rent. So now what we, what we can see is that the government numbers are gonna they're not keeping up, okay? So fair market rent, $1,500 a month. I mean, that's extra money in your pocket, so another $131, and if we're just kind of going off that, $1,100 to $1,500, it's $400 as opposed to the $271. So it's a little bit more money in your pocket as the investor. Now, you can make a couple assumptions off of what's going to happen uh, if you have a voucher paying this amount of money and fair market rent is over there. Maybe there you got to make the, yeah, it's a voucher, right? Nobody says it's section eight, I don't believe, has to pay your full amount. But if fair market rent's $1,500, government's gonna go ahead and pay that amount based off the section eight program. Still, I mean, I think that, that you can really potentially push up some rental numbers when you start studying that stuff. Now. I've only seen that happen in Garden City specifically uh, over the past year or so, and actually a little bit towards more, more of the summer, where you look at the same house last year, even two years ago, and they were $1,100 a month houses, okay? If that, 1050. Now they're 1500. It's just another one of those ways that you see that the prices are beginning to rise overall in real estate. And uh, is it a safe bet? I don't know, that's for you to decide. If that's where you wanna put your money. But I'll end with this. If you have questions about real estate in general, okay? Um, I don't know everything, but I'm here to be a resource for you. Okay, my name's Dean. I'm with 3D Property Solutions. And uh, you can reach me by phone. 248-940-1099. That's my direct line over at the office. And if you want to reach me uh, online, you can find us at DDD Homebuyers. That's plural. Uh, dot com. And then also uh, Dean at DDD Homebuyers. Dot com. You can send me an email there. So uh, reach out to me if you need insight on something. If you have a property that you're looking to sell, we're always buying. Okay. As long as the numbers make sense, we'll get you an offer. And uh, we can go from there. So enjoy the day. We'll see you guys soon.